you remember, but a few weeks ago, I got a dead blackberry plant for 50 cents at Lowe's. Um, I was out of town for a week because I was uh, in Reno, Nevada for training. And I came back and I'm like, oh my gosh, what plant is growing? Oh my God, it's that dead blackberry. I didn't expect to see any growth until um, next spring. So I'm excited about that. And Hey, 50 cents, uh, and I'm going to have some blackberries from it, so I'll, I'll happily take that. Oh, Melvin, really? Oh, here comes all the giddies. Look what you're doing. You should be videoing us. <laughs> and one over there. <laughs> Naughty giddies. So here is our duck pool with the little ramp leading up to it. And my fabulous daughter, Evie, skimming the leaves out of it. You gotta keep the leaves out. Rotting vegetation in water like this that isn't filtered, uh, doesn't run through a swamp or anything like that to get it clean you can actually um, put botulism in the water and make your ducks very sick. Um, that most ducks that get botulism, from what I understand, don't generally survive it. Um, so we try to skim this regularly and keep the leaves out so they never get to the point where they're actually rotting. As you can see the leaves um, that Evie is pulling out are just fresh leaves. Please don't tell me you got that on tape. No, I missed getting that on tape, sorry. So this is just one of the mini chores here at Willow Creek. So apparently, Chloe Figure it out. Chloe! Oh, where'd she go? Oh, oh, there she is. <laughs> Figured out how to get under the house and then couldn't get back out. Oh, that's not a good place to land, Melvin. Yep. So, hello. Sorry, the dogs are distracting me running around like crazy dogs. And the ducks are demanding dinner. I just wanted to show you a little bit of what it's like to feed all these crazy animals dinner. So here we go. So as you can see, the guineas wait right here for me. So I come up the porch. It's been raining, we got a lot of leaves down. And they know where their food's gonna be. It's gonna be up there where the dogs can't reach it because the dogs like to eat the food. See, watch. <laughs> porch gets a little slippery when it's wet. Okay, here comes the scary part. I'm walking out of the screen porch with the bag of guinea feed in my hand. <laughs> this is where it gets scary. Because they fly up and try to get into the bag. So I got to figure out a better system for this. <laughs> we just give them enough to keep them distracted so I can get the ducks put away. Okay. This is what it's like trying to walk to the duck pen at feeding time. Oh, Abby just came right between my feet. Because <laughs> they're crazy. As you can see, we keep the straw here. This is under the um, covered part 
of their pen so it stays dry. This is also, you can see their, their new food tub over there. I had to drag a new one in. Um, there wasn't quite enough le feed left in the old one for tonight's feeding. So we feed them around the straw. Um, this way they're separated. Nobody has to be on top of each other. Then after we feed them, we, uh, or as they're eating, we count to make sure we got all of our ducks in. Um, have not had any missing yet, but if we did, we would certainly do a really hardcore search looking for them because these girls and the two boys may work for us by laying eggs, um, but they're also our family. And you can see the guineas out there. They must have finished their food, so now they're walking around hoping for more. <laughs> so that's our evening chores at Willow Creek.